you want to make a drop down menu that allows you to change your screen resolution, start by opening your scene and adding in an options button node. Reposition and resize this node to your likings. Next you'll need a script. You can either create one now or use one that you already have. At the top of the script, we're going to create a new variable that will reference our options button. Under this, we're going to create a new function called add items. This is where we're going to add our resolution options. To add an item to the option button, we can use this line of code. Inside of these brackets, we can put the name of the item in the form of a string. In this case, we'll be putting the resolutions that we want our players to be able to select from. My first option will be 1024 by 546. I'm now going to repeat this and add three more options. However, you can add as many as you like. Next, let's make it so the add items function will be called once the script is loaded. To do this, create a new ready function and call the add items function that we just created. Now we'll need to make these options actually change the resolution. Start by selecting the options button, head on over to node in the top right, and connect an item select signal to our script. Inside of this signal function, we're going to put this line of code. This line of code will store the value of index at a new variable called currently selected. Under this, we're going to create an if statement that checks the value of the currently selected variable. In this case, we're going to check if the value is equal to zero. If it is, we're going to set the window size to be 1024 by 546. The reason we're setting it to 1024 by 546 is because that is the first option in our list, and the value 0 corresponds with the first option in our list. As 0 corresponds with the first item on our list, a value of 1 will correspond with the second item on our list, a value of 2 will correspond with the third item on our list, and so on. I'm going to go ahead and add 3 more if statements for the other 3 options in my list. If you now run your program, you should be able to use this drop down menu to change the size of the window. That's about it. Consider checking out this video about how to add a full screen button into your game.